Hey, what's up everybody? It's time for a new food pantry update. I'll start with a freshness update. The oils are still tasting good and haven't gone rancid. The olive oil is eight months past the best buy date and it still tastes fine. And the oatmeal is now five months past the best buy date and it still tastes fine. I do a thorough inspection of it when I fill my little tub up. I look through this little magnifying glass. So far there's been no bugs In my last video, I had a bunch of comments about heating this up in my solar oven. The comments were saying that it's dangerous to heat up a can because there's a lining and it'll release toxins into the food. Well, I wouldn't want to heat this up over an open fire or on a heating element kind of slow heating it in a solar oven isn't harmful or dangerous because canned foods are actually heated up with steam up to like 200 or 300 degrees and that's what makes this food last so long because it kills any harmful bacteria inside the can so it's actually partially cooked in the can at the factory Here's a quick update on my solar oven. I just finished the reflector. I've still got a little bit more work to do, but I'll have a video on this probably within the next few weeks. And this thing is awesome. It gets super hot now, baking some cookies. The date stamped on the bottom of the cans is a best buy date. It's not an expiration date. Basically after the best buy date, the food might have a little bit of a different texture or color, but it'll still be edible for a long period of time after the best buy date. I've read reports that foods will last 50 to 100 years inside the can and still be good. And the new stuff. Gets pushed to the back and it constantly rotated. I've also picked up some emergency blankets and I put these in my cars because I've seen a news report where cars have gotten stranded on the highway and below freezing temperatures and people have died inside their cars. So it's good to have one of these in your car in case you run into a situation like that. You won't freeze. Got some extra brown rice flour. It's an overcast, snowy day, so I'm going to bake the cookies with my battery-powered generator. Bake them for about 20 minutes.
the toaster is drawing about 800 watts So it went from 79% to 59%. Used 20% of the battery. This is a low wattage toaster oven. Most toasters use 1500 watts. This uses less than a thousand and it's high quality. I have a backup. I'll have a link in the description below of this exact model. The best buy date is written on the bottom of the can in super tiny little letters. So I'll write on the can in bigger text so it's easy to read. This tub is full of soap and a whole bunch of skin lotion and I just added two more packages. Keeping a deep supply of cat treats. Something really good is Brunswick stew. After about 30 minutes, the oven is heated up to 250 degrees Fahrenheit. And then I let it sit here for another 30 minutes.
super steamy hot. Sam's Club is starting to carry Zevia combo packs. Love cracking open a cold root beer. Taking a sit while playing some old classic arcade machines. <laughs> 